Hello, this is Eric of Nabaos, and I'm here to talk about the Big Coon USB cables. So this is a USB cable that's magnetic. You can see there's no attachment here. But here's the cool part. So I have this right here. And check that out. So I'll pull this out if I can. Okay, there it is. So this is a USB-C connection I have connected to my phone. And it simply slides in. So what you saw there is it pulled out. And that's probably the biggest weakness about this cable is it can pull out. But if you go angular, it's fine. And it pull, it's actually very magnetic. So what are the ideas of this? It's if you walk through a cable, this should detach without knocking your phone off. It might knock it off if you get it straight enough. And I was just about to forget here. You're going to need, of course, if you want to charge your car or anywhere else, a cable with you because this is not going to be compatible with the connectors without removing this. So what is another reason? What is another reason you'd want something like this with a detachable cable other than, say, walking by and doesn't get dragged out? It's to save your USB port or your connection lightning port or whatever so you can keep your phone longer without having to replace this because you have less detaching and reattaching and less stress on your connection over time and that will save your phone from that port dying. This particular cable comes with my Apple Lightning connector, it comes with my Type-C connector and comes with my micro USB connection type. On older phones I did notice, on old phones, I'm talking quite old ones, I did notice that it could actually knock out the power on a very old, say, 2017 phone from uh, when you have it connected and your screen is on. However, any modern phone, be it a Samsung A50 Plus or newer type thing, should not be a problem. I did not experience any problems. So this cable itself is up to 3 amps, 5 volts, it means up to 15 watts of charging power. And it has a data capacity, data speed, of USB 2.0, which is 480 megabits per second, which divided by eight gives you your full maximum speed you can get. So I'll just do quick math. 480 divided by eight. 60 megabytes per second data transfer speed. Apple Lightning connection is the maximum speed of USB 2.0 to this very, very day. So there you go for Apple users. This won't make a difference other than you'll be limited to 15 watts charging speed. I can bend the cable wherever. So you might wonder this or Volta because I reviewed Volta cables. Volta cables has more capacity for charging per se, but one thing it can't do is bend anywhere. And a lot of time I just lose connection because the darn thing would come off. This has a better magnet than a Volta cable cost less than a Volta cable. In fact, I bought three cables with three packages. Yeah, it's sticking to itself. With three packages of connectors, Canadian dollars for about $25.99, which equals American, what, 21-ish dollars? But let's say it was even $25 American. Let's say it was, that was even the cost for three cables plus three different adapters three times over. So you have three and three, you know, you get it all. So you get all those pieces for such an affordable cost and it's not just your regular cable. So I have one of these in my car, just blank like this because I keep the connection right here. And if you didn't get it already, I actually bought six, six cables in total. And no, I did not receive any of these for review. I actually purchased this because I wanted to have a cable and that stays in my phone to save my USB ports. So this was a personal reason I actually purchased this. And the Volta cable itself, the connection died on it after like three weeks, like one of the connectors. And super expensive. Well, this I've been using for a month or longer and no problems with any connectors so far. My sister's been using it and someone I've been seeing has been using it and I've been using it no problems at all thus far. What's another concern you may have is depending on your case. So mine's flexible. 
So if I pull by here, yes, it'll knock my connector out unless I were to cut around this part of the case. Then I don't have to worry about if I pull my case, like if I'm pulling from a pocket. Yeah, I done that one time and I did lose a connector because it is pretty darn small. I have a cable connected right here and it's what I use. I just simply at the computer, connect it in and let it charge away. This is Eric Not Pows. Don't forget to subscribe to help this channel grow. I hope you enjoyed this quick review of Big Coon USB cables for charging your phone. Got it on Amazon. I'll leave a link below so you can get it as well. I actually bought a total of six cables. I gave one to my sister and I gave one to someone else that I'm seeing. And you see here, I already showed three cables in total because I had that one connected there plus those two other ones. Have yourselves a most wonderful day.